want to learn how to get waves in one week. It really is kind of easy. YouTube, what's up? It's your host with the most helping waivers from coast to coast, Waveman Mike, and we're back for another video. Stay tuned. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get waves in one week. Listen, in one week, your waves are not gonna be perfect. They're not gonna be flawless. They're not gonna be any of those things, but they may be visible. It's possible, I'm telling you right now, it is possible to get waves in one week. They may not be the best waves, but they'll be waves, more or less ripples than waves. But you get what I'm saying, they're waves. So if you want to learn how to get waves in one week, make sure you stick around for this entire video and press that like button right now because I'm helping you out. Okay, so this really is kind of easy. It's not hard at all. In fact, what I'm about to tell you is probably something that you know anyway. Basically, the more that you brush, the better your waves will be. Look at my waves. My waves are pretty decent, right? That's because I brush my hair. This is the one and only way that if you could get waves in one week, that's how you gotta do it. I'm gonna be honest with you right now. Not everybody can get waves in one week. Only those who are super motivated and super determined can do it. You need to be brushing your hair almost non-stop. But even if you don't get waves in that first week, maybe you might get them in the second week, maybe the third week, the fourth week. You know, everybody's hair is different. So if it doesn't work for you immediately, trust me, it will work for you eventually. Just stay motivated, stay dedicated, keep faith in the process and you will get the progress. And you don't need to worry, oh, maybe I'll forget the steps. It doesn't matter because you can come back to this video and see exactly what you need to do. You can watch this video more than once if you need to. So just keep that in mind. Or you just can subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can watch other videos that I've made before. Also, when you enter, um, well, when you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you enter a giveaway that's about to come soon. I'm at 45 subscribers right now and I'm doing a giveaway when I get to 50,000 subscribers. I'm going to be giving away a brush. So if you want to enter that giveaway to win a brush, then make sure you go subscribe to this YouTube channel and press this like button right now. And to make sure that you're entered in the giveaway, go comment down below, super smooth, just to solidify your spot in the giveaway. You did it? Okay, good. So you see these waves I have? How do you think I got them? By brushing my hair. Well, for you, if you wanna do this as quickly as possible, you're going to want to maximize everything that you do. So step one, what's the first thing I need to do? Well, first you wanna make sure that your hair is at the correct length. It can't be too long and it can't be too short. If you want me to make a video on recommended hair lengths for certain hair types, make sure to tell me that down below. I'll be more than happy to make it for you. Okay, so now that your hair's at the right length, you wanna make sure you have the right materials. You're going to need some type of pomade or grease, some type of moisturizer, a do-rag, and of course, a brush. I recommend putting the moisturizer in your hair so that it is nice and moisturized. It's in the name. Brush that in for about 10 minutes, then put the um, pomade in and brush your hair for maybe 30 to 45 minutes. The longer you brush your hair, the better and faster your waves will come. Honestly, you could brush your hair for an hour, two hours, three hours. It doesn't matter because the more time you spend, the faster your waves will come. After you brush your hair with the pomade in, you're gonna, oh, I probably should have mentioned this, but you need a Ziploc bag. Take a Ziploc bag like this, put your hand inside of it and just rub it on your waves, just like this. I don't know the science behind this because I'm not a scientist, but for some reason this makes your hair lay down 
and it makes your waves look way better than they did before you did it. This is called the plastic bag method. I've done several videos on this method. If you want to check them out, then you can. I might leave them down in the description. I don't know. I can't tell you right now because I don't know if I'm going to remember to do it or not. But if I remember to do it, then the video will be linked down in the description. After you do that, you want to go ahead and put your do-rag back on. Maybe I shouldn't say back on because I never told you to put it on for in the first place. So go ahead and put your do-rag on. Once your do-rag is on, you want to leave it on for as long as you're not brushing your hair. Anytime that you're allowed to have your do-rag on, keep it on. Because this is protecting your waves and holding your hair in place so that whatever work you did, it sticks. So please make sure you wear your do-rag anytime you're not brushing your hair. If you have school and you're not allowed to wear your do-rag in school, then that's the time that you wouldn't have it on, of course. But when you're doing stuff like going to sleep, you're just at home watching TV, make sure you have your do-rag on. And especially right after you brush your hair. Always put your do-rag on after you brush your hair so you can save everything that you just did. If you don't put your do-rag on after you brush your hair, it's kind of like playing a video game and then not saving the game. Like what was the whole purpose of doing that? You played Grand Theft Auto, you did a bunch of missions and then you didn't save the game. Now, when you go back and play the game later, you have to do those same missions all over again, which is very counterproductive. Don't be that guy who makes it so they have to do what they already did over again. Make sure you save your progress by putting your do-rag on. Okay, so the next day you'll wake up and you'll do this entire process again. And you do this for the rest of the week or for re the rest of forever how long you want your waves. Because this is a wave routine. It's something that you do more than once. <coughs> you can actually do this more than once per day. Some people only do it once per day, but you can do it as many times as you want in a day honestly because the more you do it like i said before the more you do it the better your waves will come in and the faster your waves will come in so just keep that in mind but yeah this video doesn't need to be super long i'm going to go ahead and end it right here if you did enjoy it press the like button and share this video with somebody else because i know you know somebody who needs help in this area Also, go subscribe to my channel because you want to enter that giveaway. It's coming soon as I hit 50,000 subscribers and we're already at 45,000. So you know it's not going to be too much longer of a wait. Even if it is, it's still better to make sure that you're in the running for being the winner. So just keep that in mind. I'm Wade Man Mike. Subscribe, comment, and like. Enjoy your day. Hey Wave family, it's me, 3WP Rashad, and I just want to give a special shout out to my fellow coarse hair waver, Wave Man Mike, for providing valuable tips to the Wave community all over the world. <laughs> Make sure I show his channel some support and love. Deuces. Yeah, let's give it a go, man. Make sure you guys check out Wave Man Mike on YouTube. Let's get it.